And I would encourage people to look at what you really want. Um, but I really believe that we all have the power to create in us. Nobody's got the secret and nobody's cut off from the secret, but you have to want to learn. And I'll tell you the hardest thing, why for me, why people don't get this is because they're not willing to say yes to the unknown mm -hmm. or to say yes to change because for them change triggers trauma yeah. or something unsafe and if you think about the unknown yeah think about when you were a child and you thought there were monsters under the bed every time yes. they turn the light off at night and so that's the unknown no matter how many times they told you no 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 there's no yeah. monsters under the bed but the unknown to us even as adults feels like monsters under the bed and honestly, if you really want to create something in your life or be a certain way or change something about yourself, it's not going to come from your past. It's not going to come from anything you already know, because that's already done. That can't, that's already created from your past. It has to come from the unknown of the future. And you invent it in your imagination for no reason other than it's what you aspire to. It's what you value. And then you invent this possibility. And you focus on that, and that's what you work toward. It's, it has nothing to do with if it, it might not even be possible in your lifetime, but if it's what you want, then you will get up in the morning and do it most days, and nobody's going to have to bribe you or force you. And even on the hardest of the days, yeah. weeks, months, years, <laughs> you will somehow pull through. I've had years, as you have. Yes. Of why am I here? Yes. What's this about? Mm -hmm. So that's what I believe. And and I really believe that everyone. Um, I wish everyone could really come into a conscious knowing of their own soul essence, who they are as a soul, yeah. because we think we're this other thing that our conditioned mind has created as our self identity. We're not our identity. Right. And, you know, you're not that I'm not this right. and and we're more than that right. and you can't even put words to it. So I really believe that that's the most important thing that people could do. And I liken it to a tuning fork, you know, and w your soul is that tuning fork and then you want to tune your whole life, your whole life to that tuning fork. So your life, your body, your mind, your consciousness becomes a vessel to express your soul. Yes. That's what it's all about. No, because you're like, okay, you're speaking, you're speaking this beautiful spiritual language because you remember me when I started. <laughs> I wanted to be famous. I had things to prove. I was so, I've got to show them because I've never accomplished anything in my life. I've got to be successful. I've got to be that. And now I turn 40 in September. And I am turning down things that want to lead me to Hollywood and fame and notoriety, those things. And why is this? Tell us why. Because I, oh, you're going to make me cry. No, <laughs> I got tissue here. I got tissue here. <laughs> but Mama Deb, I found myself. I found myself. What did you think fame was going to give you? I thought it would give me, I th okay. I thought it would fill the holes in my soul yeah. that trauma yeah. had caused. Right. I thought that it with, with fame, I could pour it into every hole and that <laughs> it would somehow congeal and seal my being so that I would be okay. Mm. And I realized, no. No, not at all. I had a um, celebrity psychic and tarot card reader. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Boots Durango. I wanna say his name because he is just really good at what he does. Three years ago, he asked me to come on and I came on and he gave me a reading. And I hadn't said this to people because I was getting offers and everybody was upset with me. Why won't you move? 
Why won't you do this? You're a fool. You're not acting out. You're being given opportunity and you're squandering it. This is a once in a lifetime thing and you're saying no. And he said to me, you've grown and now fame is not something you want. Fame actually scares you. And I said to him, it's not that it scares me. I just don't like the versions of ourselves that fame presents. Mm -hmm. I didn't- and what, and, and what the world does with fame. Yes. Yeah, okay. And, and he's- So said, annoying. <laughs> and he said that. He said, you, I, I, Mama Deb, I am not for 